Top 10 Elegant Sites to Visit in Portugal Portugal is known for its breathtaking landscapes, vibrant culture, and incredible cuisine. But what many people don't know is that Portugal is also home to some of the most elegant sites in the world. From ancient castles to stunning gardens and sprawling palaces, the country is teeming with historical monuments and beautiful architecture. In this video, we'll be taking a look at 10 must-see elegant sites to visit in Portugal. 10. São Jorge Castle Perched high atop a hill in Lisbon, the São Jorge Castle offers stunning views of the city below. Built in the 11th century by the Moors, the castle was later captured by Christian forces in the 12th century. Today, visitors can explore the castle's fortified walls, gardens, and courtyards while taking in the stunning views of the city and the Tagus River. Don't miss the chance to visit the castle's museum, which houses artifacts from Lisbon's rich history. Whether you're a history buff or just looking for a picturesque spot to take in the city, the São Jorge Castle is not to be missed. 9. Palucio da Pena Located in Sintra, the Palucio da Pena is an extraordinary example of romantic architecture. It is a unique blend of styles that combine Gothic, Moorish, and Manuline elements. It is one of the most iconic sites in Portugal and is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Palcio da Pena was built in the 19th century as a summer residence for King Ferdinand II. The palace features ornate domes, turrets, and towers that provide an enchanting view of the Sintra Hills and the surrounding forest. Inside the palace, you can admire an impressive collection of furniture, art, and decorative objects. The ornate interior design is a blend of styles from around the world. The palace also houses a chapel, a dining room, and a ballroom. You can walk through the gardens surrounding the palace that feature a lake, exotic plants, and winding paths. 8. Belam Palace Located in Lisbon, Belam Palace is one of the most beautiful palaces in Portugal. This stunning palace was built in the 16th century and served as the official residence of the Portuguese royal family for many years. Today, the palace is used by the Portuguese president for official functions and state events. Bilam Palace is known for its beautiful gardens and impressive architecture. The palace is surrounded by stunning gardens that are filled with fountains, sculptures, and beautiful flowers. The palace itself is an excellent example of the Manuline style of architecture, which is a combination of Gothic and Renaissance styles. One of the highlights of a visit to Belém Palace is the chance to see the famous Sala das Picas. This room is known for its intricate tile work and features a stunning fountain that is decorated with tiles depicting sea creatures. 7. Church of Street Francis One of the most striking buildings in the city of Porto, the Church of Street Francis is a must-visit destination for architecture enthusiasts. Originally built in the Gothic style in the 14th century, the church underwent a major renovation in the 17th and 18th centuries, during which it was adorned with an extravagant Baroque interior. One of the most impressive features of the church is its gilded interior, which is entirely covered in gold leaf. Visitors will be struck by the lavish decorations on the walls and ceiling, which feature intricate carvings, sculptures, and paintings. The church is also home to an impressive collection of religious artifacts, including silver chalices, embroidered vestments, and antique religious books. Another highlight of the Church of Street Francis is the cloisters, which date back to the original 14th century construction. The cloisters are a tranquil oasis of greenery and provide a peaceful respite from the busy streets of Porto. 6. Carmo Convent Located in the city of Lisbon, the Carmo Convent is one of the most unique and elegant sites in Portugal. This convent was built in the 14th century and was once home to the Carmelite Order. Today, it stands as a ruin after it was destroyed in the 1755 earthquake that shook Lisbon. Despite its destruction, the convent is a popular destination for visitors due to its Gothic architecture and breathtaking views of the city. As you walk around the site, you will notice the impressive vaulted ceiling that has remained intact. You can also explore the archaeological museum that is located within the convent. This museum houses a vast collection of artifacts and art from the convent's past, including Roman sculptures and Gothic statues. One of the most notable features of the Carmo convent is its outdoor space, which offers spectacular views of the city and the Tagus River. It is the perfect place to take in the beauty of Lisbon, 
while admiring the convent's impressive architecture. 5. Mafra National Palace One of the most impressive buildings in Portugal, the Mafra National Palace was built in the 18th century. This stunning Baroque palace is known for its unique architectural style and the breathtakingly beautiful interiors. The palace was built in the reign of King Joab V to fulfill a promise he made to God in exchange for a son. The construction of the palace lasted for more than a decade, and the result was an enormous and luxurious palace, featuring an immense library with over 36,000 books. The Mafra National Palace is home to various beautiful rooms, including the Queen's Bedroom, the royal dining room, the king's antechamber, and the chapel. The chapel is particularly remarkable, with beautiful frescoes and intricate carvings adorning the walls and ceiling. 4. Convent of Christ Located in the city of Tomar, the Convent of Christ is one of the most significant religious sites in Portugal. Originally built as a Templar stronghold in the 12th century, the complex underwent several renovations and additions over the centuries. The most impressive part of the Convent of Christ is its UNESCO World Heritage listed Chirola, a circular temple with eight-sided chapels that combine Romanesque, Gothic, and Renaissance architectural styles. The Chirola was built to resemble the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem and was the spiritual center of the Templar order. In addition to the Chirola, the Convent of Christ includes several other noteworthy features, such as the Gothic cloisters, the chapter house with its ornate vaulted ceiling, and the 16th century Manuline window. Visitors can also explore the former monk cells and the refectory, which now houses a museum with artifacts from the Templar era. 3. Batalha Monastery the Batalha Monastery, located in the town of Batalha, is one of the most impressive examples of Gothic architecture in Portugal. It was built to commemorate the Portuguese victory over the Castilians at the Battle of Algebarota in 1385. Construction of the monastery began in 1386 and was completed almost 200 years later in 1517. The Batalha Monastery is a masterpiece of Gothic art, and its stunning design is considered to be one of the most important examples of the Manuline style. Its intricate stonework, beautiful stained glass windows, and delicate carvings make it a true work of art. The highlight of the monastery is the Royal Cloister, a stunning courtyard surrounded by elegant arches and beautiful columns. The intricate stone carvings on the arches and the ceilings are simply breathtaking and the sheer scale of the cloister is impressive. 2. Quelas National Palace Nestled in the charming town of Quelas, just outside of Lisbon, the Quelas National Palace is a stunning example of 18th century architecture. Built in the 1740s, this palace was initially designed as a summer residence for the Portuguese royal family. The palace is a perfect representation of the ornate Rococo style that was popular during this time. The palace features beautifully manicured gardens, complete with glistening fountains and pristine topiaries. These grounds are a perfect place to stroll and take in the scenic beauty of the area. The interior of the palace is equally as impressive, with opulent rooms that showcase intricate stucco work, ornate furnishings, and gilded details. One of the standout features of the palace is the throne room, which boasts a striking chandelier and intricate ceiling frescoes. One. Palace of Estoy The Palace of Estoy is a breathtaking example of 18th century architecture, located in the charming town of Estoy. Originally constructed in 1840 by a wealthy Portuguese aristocrat, the palace was later purchased by the government in 2009 and restored to its former glory. Visitors to the Palace of Esto can expect to be awed by its grandeur and attention to detail. The palace features stunning gardens and fountains, with intricate tile work throughout. Inside, the rooms are opulent and adorned with ornate ceilings and chandeliers, and filled with period furnishings. One of the standout features of the Palace of Estoy is the stunning ballroom, which was inspired by the Palace of Versailles. This room alone is worth the trip to Estoy, as it is a truly remarkable display of grandeur and beauty.